I like to welcome y'all to True City World. And today we're talking about Adrian Brown versus Justin Sargent. It was a normal AB ring entrance. He came out looking like he shot Barney and took his fur and made a hoodie out of it and uh, came out to Takashi 6 9 Yeah, everybody fell for the fake beef except for me. Never really pay attention to anything AB is doing outside of the ring. I really don't like to hear him talk that much anymore. Well, at the end of the day, and the beginning of the motherfucking day, and the end of the week, and the end of the year, and for eternity, this nigga AB is an outlaw for no fucking reason. You dig? You gotta be smart. You go in that Leonard Ellaby. You feel me? You see how De La Hoya just controlled the scorecards with the GGG Canelo fight. You see that the promoter is the ones who pick the judges. And you fuck around and dog out the promoter, bruh? Bruh, you had no chance of winning a close decision. <laughs> you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, and then I heard that weird ass nigga casual boxer talk saying AB was gonna win. And I seen that nigga say that shit. I knew AB was gonna lose, you feel me? Don't forget y'all, never ever bet with that nigga casual boxer talk. Anything that nigga say is gonna be wrong, you know what I mean? So I knew when he said AB was gonna win and he was rooting for AB, I was like, damn, AB ain't gonna win. He got this lame ass nigga rooting for him. You know what I mean? Bad luck ass nigga, man. You feel me? The day that casual boxing talk say Earl Spence is gonna win the fight, Earl Spence is gonna lose that fight, man. I ain't lying, man. That nigga casual boxing talk is a jinx to the boxing world, man. But let's move on from that fuck boy. Now, you know, Jesse Vargas beat the shit out of Adrian Brown. The first round, he beat Adrian Brown. Second round, he beat the shit out of him with the jab. The key to beating Adrian Brunner is coming in with the jab, dog. Double up on the jab. As soon as he get in defense, hit him in the body or catch him with the right. You know what I mean? Catch him with a hook, catch him with an uppercut. That's how Mikey Garcia beat him. You feel me? That jab to get it to, to get into his defense, man. It kills him every time, man. Dude. But the thing about Adrian Brunner, he only got a one-two punch, man. You feel me? He like Kel Brook when he fought Earl Spence. Niggas coming through with the one-two back in defense. One-two back in defense. No. You got to come with one, two, three, four. And then the nigga flat-footed, man. He's staying there, man. He ain't got head movement. He can't do the matrix like Floyd. You feel me? Floyd can lay on the rope and move some shit where if you watching the fight from the wrong camera angle, you're going to think that nigga getting hit until you see it up in a different angle. You're going to see he was dodging every motherfucking punch. That nigga cannot do the Floyd shoulder roll. You feel me? And then when he in high guard, bro, he just be standing there getting popped. You feel me? And then he'll come back with a one-two. And every time he came back with a one-two, Jesse Vargas was counter. Jesse should have played the fight more movement more. He, he was trying to stand there too much. But at the end of the day, Jesse did his thing, man. Beat the shit out of motherfucking A.B., man. At least for the first six rounds, man. I give A.B. Fifth round, man, he, he did good, you know what I mean? But A.B. did not attack. The only time he attacked in that fight was at the end of the ninth round. He did a three, four punch combination at the end of the round and almost knocked Jesse Vargas out. It's like he cannot throw more than motherfucking two punches, man. You feel me? And that's what we mean by when we say, let your hands go. Can you throw more than two fucking punches, bro? That fight was so fucking close, bro. If you wouldn't have been A.B., bro, you would have lost. You know what I mean? That man was coming in with that jab and hitting you in the body, man. That nigga was fucking you up, bro. Even the rounds you was winning, even when they say Jesse Vargas was fighting terrible, he still was making them rounds close, bro. You know what I mean? But that ninth round, at the end of the round, you almost knocked him out, man. You know what I mean? But you did more than one, two punch combination, bro. You can't fight like that. Earl Spence coming in. That's how Earl Spence beat Kell Brook. Kell Brook is one of them one, two, hit punch, throw them motherfuckers, man. You got to throw combos, bro. You got to be ready to take them blows, throw them combos. But I think you should fight at 140, man. You feel me? Stay at 140. Stay disciplined. You can do a lot at 140, man. You feel me? You can fight in down go next. You know what I mean? That'd be a good comeback fight for you. I know you don't want to stay at 147. You don't want to fight motherfucking Keith Thurman. That'd be a good warm-up fight for you, though. You against Keith Thurman. You feel me? At 147. Keep down the comeback fight against Adrian Bronner. Who gives a fuck if Adrian Bronner lose? We all would want Adrian Bronner to win. You know what I mean? Because Keith Thurman full of shit. It'd be a big fight for boxing. I think that'd be a great fight for boxing. You feel me? Because everybody be like, is Keith Thurman going to knock Adrian Bronner out? You know what I mean? That'd be a good fight. I think they should push for that fight. But AB said he don't want to fight past 144. You feel me? Yo, he want to fight at 140. 
But really, AB, you know, you just, we don't even expect you to win no more, my dog. You feel me? We don't even expect you to win. But every time you fight, it's an event. You know what I mean? So we like to see you fight. So you should keep on fighting, bro. And I, I really want to see you fight some of the big names with this new trainer. But I think you need to work on more punch combination, man. You can, it's like you just can't throw more than motherfucking two punches, man. You throw one. You th and then you ain't got no jab. You feel me? You got a you got a nice power punch with your left and shit, but you ain't really got no nice jab. All you do is paw with your your left. You don't really, you know what I mean? You ain't throwing that jab out there, man. You ain't got no jab, man. You ain't really got no good body movement. You flat footed, bro. You can't move enough to, to, to play the defense of Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather had legs. You feel me? He could bounce around and move around and his back move his back, bend and do the matrix on these niggas, man. That, that shoulder roll shit cool, but when no Mexicans hitting you with them straight jabs, bro, they bust it through every fucking time. You know what I mean? And uh, at the end of the day, man, uh, you know, Jesse Vargas did everything I expected him to do. You know, AB did good too. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna dog him out and say he fought terrible, but it is more adjustments that need to be made. You feel me? But, uh, He's a uh, he's a legend in boxing, man. I got nothing but respect for him, man, and wish the best for him, man. I think he shoot for the Keith Thurman fight, man. You feel me? Cause uh, that'd be a good fight for him. Or you know, he don't want Terence Crawford, Earl Spence. Like that fight ain't gonna happen. You know what I mean? So only thing gonna happen is you know AB just gonna have to keep getting better, man. And, you know we gonna. I think the fans ain't gonna never give up on him. You know, you know. I think if he went and did that shit that he did to Leonard Ella B. And I know all y'all against me. Him right here, Leonard Ella B against me. They, they, they with this bitch ass nigga. Leonard a bitch ass nigga too. First can, off, you, you don't disrespect me like that. Man, shut up. You ain't with me. You ain't with me. I'm you with Jesse. I'm with Mayweather Promotions. You with, oh uh, yeah. You ain't with me. And this I'm a real one. I'm a real one. This isn't about me. You guys gotta fight. Yeah, I have. Shut that soft ass shit up. I think he would have got a rivalry decision over Jesse Vargas if he wouldn't have said all that shit to Lennon Ellaby. You got to play the game, bro. You know what I mean? Whatever game you playing, you got to play by their rules. If you playing a fucking video game, look at it like this. And the shoot button is A or B or X or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't play games no more. O, you got to press O to shoot. You got to press O to shoot. You feel me? You got to play the game and they rules. All that shit you trying to do is just, you know what I mean? Who are you crying to? I know they all against me. This is what they want. They want AB. They want AB to go out. They don't want me to, they don't want me to be, they don't want me, they don't want me to be in nice cars. They don't want me to be in Rolexes. They don't want me to be in APs. They don't want me to be in private jets. They want me to lose this fight, go up under the rug and never be talked about again. They don't want me to, they don't want me to see, see the top of my pinnacle. Guess what, man? I train my ass off. I'm not losing to no Jesse Barber. You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck is you crying to, bro? You crying to nobody, bro. Don't nobody give a fuck about you riding around the Bentley. You right. Don't nobody give a fuck about nobody. They don't want to see that shit because that shit ain't important. Being rich forever, man. It's, being, it's important. Investing money. Money coming in from all kind of ways, man. You feel me? Nigga driving a motherfucking Toyota Camry. But rich as hell getting more respect than a nigga out here blowing all this shit. And trying to impress people that don't give a fuck about you, bro. Talking about they don't want to see me riding in the Bentley and all that. That's why I can't listen to AB no more, man. I can't listen to no nigga that talk about shit like that, man. That shit is corny, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Real talk, bro. It's played out, man. 2018, my nigga. That shit is played out. You sound old school as hell, bro. You sound stupid as hell in your Porsche fight review, bro. That was some goofy monkey. I mean... My nigga grandmama was like, what the hell did he just say? You know what I mean? Like, it's ugly out here, man. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at his face. It look like I beat him with a beat my arm. Hey, man, you need to change. And that shit you talking about, I ain't listening, man. I just want to see, man. Simple ass, man. My young niggas, they still listen to you. And I understand why. Because I used to listen to you, but now I can't even listen to you, nigga. I'd like to thank you guys for coming to Q City World. It's been a motherfucking blast.
Uh, I ain't hating, I want everybody paid. For wasting time, it's too much money to be made. I ain't hating, I want everybody paid. For wasting time, it's too much money to be made. We stack it up and then we party down in Bay. Invest in hell of money coming in ten ways. My head shade, they say I look like MJ. Bet stack on 2K, buying cars every day. How I work, I'm dedicated like my nigga money made. The weather fucked up, damn, I need a sunny day. Catch a flight down to Vegas just to gamble all day. Took the L, got it back.